A lot of Christians are faced with the question, is God testing me? In James chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, it says this. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. And see, many people hear this and they have mistakenly thought that God is the one who brings these tests and trials into our lives. See, but if we keep reading just a little bit further, James reveals that that's not the case. In verse 12, he says this, he says, Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial, because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. And he goes on, he says, When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when by his own evil desire he is dragged away and enticed. And then in verse 16 it says, Don't be deceived, my dear brothers. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. The interesting thing about this passage, that although in English there's a distinction between trial, temptation, and testing, in, in the Greek, in the original language, James doesn't distinguish between these things. In fact, it's the same Greek word that's used to describe each of them. So as you read through this, simply put, this passage could be paraphrased like this. When trials and temptations come your way, it's an opportunity for your faith to shine. But don't be fooled into thinking that God is testing, trying, or tempting you. He's not. In fact, only good gifts come from God.